Hello everyone and a warm welcome from my side. This is my first SESOS workshop and I'm quite honored to present our paper Industry Voices on Software Engineering Challenges in Dynamic System of Systems today. First of all, I will give you an overview of what you can expect from the next 12 minutes. First, I will clarify our definition of dynamic system of systems, or short dinosaurs. Then I will give you an insight about the dinosaurs project, since our study was not the only one in the project. Afterwards, I will show you how we conduct the study. And finally, I will give you an overview about the key challenges we found out. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Jana Heinrich. I'm 26 years old. 2019, I finished my studies of socioinformatics at University of Kaiserslautern in Germany. Since I think you might never heard about it, <laughs> uh, here's a short explanation. Socioinformatics is a degree program in computer science focusing on investigation of the impact of digitalization on the society, including also ethic, economical uh, and legal aspects besides software engineering. Since I finished my studies, I work as systems engineer and researcher at Fraunhofer ESA. And my focus of research lies, of course, um, on system of systems engineering on the one hand. And on the other hand, I just started research on quality models in the context of Industry 4.0 as a part of my PhD. So let's start with the definition. Uh, since I think uh, this is an SOS conference, I don't have to go into detail what system of systems are, but why and how distinguish we dinosaurs from SOS? First of all, why dinosaurs? In order to meet today's goals like sustainability, the engineering scope has to be extended and also social technical systems must be considered in the ecological context. The emergent dependencies and feedback loops result in enormous complexity. In our definition, we consider dinosaurs to be a subset of system of system, which have a number of additional characteristics. <clears throat> With these characteristics, we address the prefix dynamic of the uh, term dinosaurs. They have more frequent and faster changes of the goals. They have faster context switches, they have more frequent changes of the constituent system in the SOS. I'm aware that this distinction is not absolutely necessary since it is only an extension of the inherent aspect of SOS dynamics, but nevertheless, we wanted to introduce this distinction at this point. Um, a little bit context. Uh, the Dinosaurs Project is a project uh, founded by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research, which uh, basically has the following uh, objectives. First, collection, uh, consolidation and presentation of research questions uh, in the development of system of systems in different domains, uh, identification of necessary fields, um, of development and recommendations for action, and finally, the development of a draft for a research roadmap. If you're interested interested in further reading, I would like to refer you to the white paper of my colleagues, in which you can find more detailed information on various use cases of the different domains. Well, so much about the background. The goal of our study was to find out what are the current biggest challenges in the engineering of system of system in practice. Therefore, um, we did interviews as well as workshop with, with experts in systems and software engineering from industry and research in order to obtain a broad and forward-looking uh, pic picture of options, uh, opinions, um, both practitioners such as system architects uh, as well as leading personalities, such as uh, heads of institutes in the field of product development were interviewed. We structured the interview questions according to the BAPU model, uh, so business, architecture, process, and organization. 
as these four perspectives are directly related and should therefore be considered together. Subsequently, we conducted a workshop uh, with the task to prioritize the challenges on the one hand according to its importance uh, for the reali realization of dinosaurs and on the other hand how big the importance of the research of the challenge is uh, since we are a research institute. Well, this leads us to the results of our interviews. I would like to note again that this is just the feedback we received of the 18 German interviews, German experts, and we do not claim to be complete, but we are happy if we can encourage some discussion and, well, let's see what's happening. So, the first challenge will probably not really surprise you. We must manage exploding system complexity. There are more stakeholders involved, higher levels of connectivity, more changes in context, more frequent changes in goals, and so on and so on. Considered system enter the SOS and exit again, which simply is resulting in an extremely high complexity. Which brings us to the next challenge. We need to bring the engineering to runtime. A new aspect is also that uh, that there are system changes during system use. This did not exist like this before. The classical engineering focuses on the development phase, but with dinosaurs, this is no longer appropriate. The systems engineering and software engineering must be brought into the runtime and has to be meshed with the development time. Yeah. But what's the consequence? If we have to continue to engineer every single system, not at development time, but also at runtime, the classical document-based systems engineering will no longer be sufficient because they are simply too slow. By the time we engineers have engineered the adaptation, the adaptation to the system, the dinosaurs has probably already evolved again. Accordingly, we need a step-by-step -step automation of systems and software engineering activities. Likewise, the system architecture must be able to reflect the dynamic aspects of the system of system. We want the dynamic, we want the high fluctuation of the systems of uh, considered systems, to generate the added value of the system network. But for, th for this, on the one hand, we need a robust system architecture to be resilient in the case of context changes. And on the other hand, the architecture must also be open enough to be able to optimize its goal in the long term. Which leads us to the next challenge directly. On the one hand, the dynamics must be reflected in architecture modeling. On the other hand, the interfaces must be able to adapt dynamically respectively. Otherwise, no co collaboration in the form of system of system is possible and it's not possible to adapt quickly enough to changing conditions. Yeah. <clears throat> Similarly, there's a question of where system of system can be found in the V model. One of our experts located it above the overall system level. But here's the question, how this level has to be structured, systemized or formalized? Oops. <clears throat> Furthermore, an ongoing consideration of the SOS lifecycle becomes necessary. Imagine a system A, have been designed in such a way that interaction with another system B was not foreseen. Now, within the framework of this system of system, a cooperation of these systems occur. The dinosaur tries to optimize itself continu continuously and recognizes 
that the change of system A leads to an optimization of the, the SOS network. Therefore, it is important that the feedback into the lifecycle engineering of the individual systems takes place. In order to enable the exchange between the systems, same as, uh, they must also be self-describing. This is only uh, this is the only way how the systems are able to make assumptions about the system network. For this purpose, the system must be uh, capable of recording, processing, and condensing information. In order to optimize themselves, considered systems uh, contribute their capabilities optimally into the network. For this, the system themselves must also be able to adapt themselves. In addition to the technical aspects, we must also be able to um, better understand related phenomena. The entire value chain must be understand as a system or system. This also includes people, animal, plants. We need to be able to understand the natural cycles in detail. Since the added value of dinosaurs is generated from the emergent effect master, uh, mastering, it is considered as a central um, yeah, challenge in the development of future dinosaurs. This leads us to the question of how we can model emergence in such a way that undesired effects can be excluded and desired effects can be guaranteed. Furthermore, the question of how emergence can contribute to the fulfillment of sustainability should be addressed. Well, finally, this <laughs> um, leads us to the yeah, final challenge uh, of how sustainability uh, can be implemented in the context of system of systems. Well, at this point, I will do a quick wrap up what we have talked about in this presentation today. I have clarified the dinosaurs definition, explained the approach of our study and presented our results and the challenges. Here again for the long term memory, some challenges listed and uh, then I would thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward to your questions. <laughs>